is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and happy Friday. Hope you have good scrappy plans for the weekend. Um, so it is Friday, May 12th, and today we are scrap lifting Brianna, who is mommy underscore RN, and she has this amazing layout. So I'm not sure if she actually did it for Mad About Mini Paper Pads. I think she might have because this is a brilliant way to use uh, mini paper pads. And I kind of wish I would have had this on the day that we do that hop because it's perfect. So um, I just started with a little bit of mixed media in the background. She's got some splatters. I'm using two uh, Tattered Angel products. Uh, both are Glimmer Mist. One is in Key Lime, and the other one is in Coffee Shop. So then I took uh, my 6x6 six six pad, and I grabbed... Uh, eight pieces of pattern paper and I cut them in half thinking, okay, this is super easy. I'm just going to cut from end to end. No problem, right? Well, that makes them still six inches and then they go off your page. So it doesn't work. So I took a half an inch off of each side. So if you were to cut the paper into a five by five square, and then um, cut it in half, then it works much better. <laughs> so I just layered two of them up. I grabbed some brown and white baker's twine and did the baker's twine between them and kind of like across, just like she did. And then I matted my photo with just some vellum. Actually, this vellum <laughs> uh, came on a wedding invitation. It was wrapped around the invitation and I kept it and it it works perfectly for the picture. So the picture is of my husband looking at um, Yellowstone River in Yellowstone. And so it's a perfect outdoorsy. Now, I don't have any ephemera packs for any of this, but I do have these two containers on my desk of just like randomness. So I thought, well, why not go through this randomness first and see if I can actually use some of these items. So that's what I did, and that's where that big pile has come from. And I am gonna use, I am gonna embellish just from this pile that I'm making, which is super exciting. Like, I feel pretty good about my, my embellishing on this layout. So, um, in the inspiration piece, she's got some embellishing above and below her photo and then a little bit on the left upper, excuse me, left upper corner of the pattern papers. And I'm going to do kind of a diagonal design. I'm going to do my embellishing from the top right hand corner down to the bottom left hand corner. Um, and her title is kind of in the middle and mine is going to be definitely more off to the side. So I have this live for today, which is like the perfect green uh, to go with this. So I was super excited about that. It's kind of that dark green that you see in the green pattern paper. So it brings that out a little bit more. So I'm going to do that for my title. I am going to add a little wooden tree. I'm going to add um, that black circle. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, a little tag that says take note. I'm going to add an arrow and a leaf. And then up at the top, I'm going to add that 100% dad. Since he's the only one in the photo, I figure perfect. We'll put him, put that there. Um, and then two circular pieces. One says this and one says enjoy. And then I add two stamped leaves. So at some point I must have done a ton of stamping um, and I got some leaves left. So I added those and then I added a word sticker that says exploring up there on the top of the photo. And I did add a little hashtag 
um, in front of my title. I am changing out the Brad and that's gonna do it. Mainly because there, it was quite blue and I didn't want that much blue. There's no real other blue. So there is my layout. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you go give Brianna some love as well as everybody who is playing along. There is a playlist down below. If you have any questions, please um, ask. I love to chat with you. So remember to wear your crown and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.